फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इट इज सीन दैट वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द करेक्टर एंड एंटीसीडेंट्स इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया टू टेस्ट वेदर द सिलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट इज सुटेबल टू ए पोस्ट अंडर द स्टेट दो ही वॉज फाउंड फिजिकली फिट पास द रिटर्न टेस्ट एंड इंटरव्यू एंड वॉज प्रोविजनली सिलेक्टेड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ हिज एंटीसीडेंट रिकॉर्ड द अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी फाउंड इट नोट डिजायरेबल टू अपॉइंट अ पर्सन ऑफ सच रिकॉर्ड एज ए कॉन्स्टेबल टू द डिसिप्लिनड फोर्स द व्यू टेकन बाय द अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी इन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द केस कैन नोट बी सेड टू बी अनवॉरटेड द ट्राइब्यूनल देयर फोर वॉज होली अनजस्टिफाइड इन गिविंग द डायरेक्शन फॉर रिकन्सिडरेशन ऑफ हिज केस दो ही वॉज डिस्चार्ज और एक्विटेड ऑफ द क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस द सेम हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द क्वेश्चन वट वुड बी रेलिवेंट इज द कंडक्ट और करेक्टर ऑफ द कैंडिडेट टू बी अपॉइंटेड टू ए सर्विस एंड नोट द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट देयर ऑफ इफ द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट हैपन्ड टू बी इन ए पर्टिकुलर वे द लो विल टेक केयर ऑफ द कॉन्सिक्वेंस द कंसिडरेशन रेलिवेंट टू द केस इज ऑफ द एंटीसीडेंट्स ऑफ द कैंडिडेट अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी देयर फोर has rightly focused the suspect and found it not desirable to appoint him to the service in kendriya vidyalaya sangathan versus ram ratan yadav air 2003 sc 1709 honorable supreme court examined a similar case wherein the employment had been obtained by suppressing the material fact that criminal proceedings were pending against him at the time of appointment the court rejected the plea taken by the employee that the form was printed in english and he did not have good knowledge of that and therefore could not understand as what information was sought the apex court held that as he did not furnish the information correctly at the time of filling up the form the subsequent withdrawal of the criminal case registered against him or the nature of offences were immaterial the requirement of filling column numbers 12 and 13 of the attestation form was for the purpose of verification of the character and antecedents of the employee as on the date of filling in the attestation form suppression of material information and making a false statement has a clear bearing on the character and antecedent of the employee in relation to his consultation in service the honorable apex court further held that there has to be a deliberate and willful misrepresentation and in case the applicant was not aware of his involvement in any criminal case or pendency of any criminal prosecution against him it can not be held that he made a misrepresentation in the said case the information sought was as to whether he has never been arrested as the applicant was wanted in a criminal case and he has got a stay order from the court he furnished the information in negative the honorable supreme court held that it may be a cause of mistaken impression but not a deliberate impression stop